take a look at the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wherein he departed for Salatul Fajr, leaving his wife uh, on the place of reading Salah. And when he returned, she was still sitting in the same place. And he returned after the sun had risen. And he asks her, what have you been doing all along? And she said, well, I was praising Allah. And I was declaring the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Alhamdulillah. How great is that? I'm sure all of us would love to be able to do that on a regular basis. But now listen to what the Prophet ﷺ says. He says, can I teach you four words? Subhanallah. Can I teach you only four words? That if you were to utter them thrice, they are better for you than everything you have done from the time I left to the time I returned. Subhanallah, four little words. What are these words? This is why we say do not underestimate the value of the words that come out of your mouth. Be careful in the same way that good words have a massive goodness of impact. The bad words would also affect you negatively in a huge, huge way. Let's listen to these four beautiful words. Before I say them, I repeat, he said, I will teach you four words. If you are to repeat them thrice, they are better for you than everything that you have uttered from the time I left to the time I returned. And listen to these words. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi. This is obviously declaring the praise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and glorifying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then he continues to say, Adada khalqihi. What amount of praise am I praising Allah? The amount of his creation. It, I don't even know. The amount of his creation. How much ever and whatever he has created. To that amount I am praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa rida nafsihi. And until he is pleased. Whatever makes him happy, subhanallah, I am praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala up to the point of his pleasure. When he is pleased with me, the point of his pleasure. Adada khalqihi wa rida nafsihi wa zinata arshihi. The weight of his throne, subhanallah. Zinata arshihi refers to the weight of the throne. What is the weight of the throne? It is something well beyond our comprehension. We won't understand it. These are words of praise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa midada kalimatihi. Subhanallah, the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his words are grand, they are great, they are stretched beyond the east to the west. What we see as east to west is actually nothing. It is minor in comparison to what Allah has created. So asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the praise that I'm declaring of you, the glorification that I'm declaring of you, oh, the greatest one should be stretched out well beyond your words. Allahu Akbar. What are the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? They are beyond our comprehension. We don't even know. This is an amazing dua to recite after Fajr. Learn it, memorize it, and repeat it often. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you immense reward. This is subhanallahi wa bihamdihi, adada khalqihi, wa rida nafsihi, wa zinata arshihi, wa midada kalimatihi. Just few simple words. It's easy to memorize and repeat these words after Fajr. Rasulullah taught it to his wife. And when you recite it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala becomes happy and Allah gives you rewards, unimaginable rewards, and Allah will make you happy in this dunya and in the akhirah. Make it your habit of reciting it daily after Fajr. Make it one of your daily askars. Sometimes this simple zikr, this simple remembrance of Allah gives a lot of rewards which you cannot even get by doing remembrance day and night. So utilize this beautiful askars and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make things beautiful for you and Allah will make you happy.